has been a long, long time since I have done one of these. I could not possibly leave you all hanging, um, I guess, for much longer on more Handshakers content. So <laughs> much to my dismay, um, I remember after recording Handshakers, Last time I discovered that Handshakers Go A Go Go exists. Um, apparently, it's an unaired 13th episode, like special, whatever, um, for the three people that bought the DVD. And I have been putting this off for so long, but I, I think it's finally time that I try to watch it. First things first, I have to watch my own Handshakers video to remember where we left off. We have no... Wow, my There's microphone much, much quality is shit. Right? There's not much else to say about it. Oh, I've had it with the fucking catchphrases. I hate him. I hate him so much. Okay, and she's good. Fine now. You literally just need to touch some... Ah, uh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Woodrow Wilson was a character. Okay. I'm all caught up. God, I already... I already hate it. I already want to just... blind myself. I forgot they were called Nimrods. Intro's kind of a banger, though. What's happening? Why did her titties do that? Why? What? She, uh, she, no, what? Why? For... This scene is taking too long. They're arguing back and forth about if they've left them behind or they're walking too fast for the past like two, three minutes. Uh. What? What? You're late. Is it because you're tall? The dialogue in the show just, just, it, top tier. It's always been great. This has been a great internal monologue of this. This one guy hanging out with the two kids and the, the husband and wife. But, like, why is he there? See the doctor? I don't remember. Just kind of feels like a fifth wheel. Uh, the gamers have returned. Very nice. Everyone in this show is bad at communication. Every conversation is painful. Is there going to be any conflict in this episode, or did, is this just like a slice of life episode of handshakers? Like, it's just them like going to the park and shit. There it is. Conflict. Oh, shit. Where'd that guy come from? What's happening? Okay. All right. It's all right. At least something's happening. I don't know what that meant. Is that domain expansion? That's great. Why? Why would... Why? <laughs> oh wow, that looked even better the second time. Wait. Wait. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Hold on. How? How? My guy was on the park bench next to them three minutes ago, and now he's uh, the top floor of this. Not even the top floor. On the roof of this building, like sniping. What? Maybe I'm forgetting. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I'm just forgetting 
the the deep lore of handshakers. Can this guy just teleport? What happened? I don't understand. He just got tased on the bench. Why? How? Okay. Sure. Fine. And his body's numb, so... He made his way up there after getting tased with his numb body. Sure. That's a pretty light punishment. <gasps> That's like a super rude thing to say to someone who will die if you don't hold their hand. Good conversation. Uh, wait. Uh, okay, I might be stupid. This is a prequel. Got it. I'm there now. A solid 19 minutes into this 23 minute episode. I, I got it. There really wasn't any reason for his sister, organ donor, donor to be like really into holding hands to justify the rest of the story that's like a weird attribute to have like if you said oh i'm the person that your sister saved she donated her organs but also you have to hold my hand or i'll die he still would have held her hand he didn't need to have like a pre-existing hobby of holding his sister's hand totally unnecessary all right yeah i mean that was the garbage i expected it to be it's on me that it took me three years to watch this so i kind of forgot the uh some of the characters and things happening uh, but also, apparently that was a prequel, and I didn't realize it until they were at their parents' funeral, um, 18, 19 minutes in. So, whoops. I don't understand how this show has as much as it does. Like, we had, we have Handshakers, Handshakers go, go, go. And then Wiz, W apostrophe Z, whatever, is like a... Not a sequel or a spinoff, but like thing, universe kind of thing. And then there's a crossover special episode between Wiz and Handshakers. And I just don't understand how it got that much content. Like who wanted this? Who's asking for this? Where's the demand coming from? As far as like Studio Go Hands goes, like at least I understand K. K was kind of cool. Um, and it had its moments. Like I'm not surprised if people like K. So I understand why that had so much, but uh, Handshakers is like, who wants this? Who's watching this? I guess 106,000 people are watching it. I feel like it was less painful than the original series, maybe just because it was shorter, but there wasn't like a ton of crazy, like stupid catchphrases. And I guess I only had to sit through one fight, but I very quickly remembered why I gave the show a one. Guess that means this is next, huh?